outside but it's like that's fine <laughs> whatever all right so this season what can we expect kind of cliffhanger you left everybody i mean literally i have no idea no? what happens in season three not a clue the writer's room for season three it just started last week if you could break into that writer's room and give them two ideas what would you give two them ideas um let betty be happy a little bit, which I think is in the works. It's something that we want to that we want to see. We want to see Betty as a as a happy girl sometimes, and um, I don't know. I think I think people and I included. I want to see FP and Alice and kind of what was left over from. There's obviously some unresolved feelings there. I think between the two of them, although it would make. Betty and Jughead's relationship a little incestuous. As long as they didn't get married, FP and Alice, I think it's strange, but it's strange. But, you know, love is love, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> and how much fun do you all have shooting? I hear there's a lot of pranking going on, people trying to make people break. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a really fun shooting environment, especially when we're all together. Um, Machen always makes me laugh. Not on purpose, she's just really goofy and and silly, um, but yeah, I mean the boys play pranks on each other, especially really? KJ, the big, K KJ and Charles. What what do they do? I don't know. They're like 15 years old. You just let them run around and play. They're pranking people all the time. They're just pranking each other. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm not involved. I stay away. <laughs> yeah. And everyone saw you at the Met Gala looking yeah, beautiful. Thank How much you. fun did you have? It was it was really wonderful. It was a really good time. Um, it was very surreal. Um, something I hope to do again in the future. I hope it wasn't a once in a lifetime thing, but I definitely, you know, enjoyed every moment in case it was. Who did you hang out with the most inside? Uh, I spent a good amount of time talking to Anne Hathaway, which was by like a good amount of time, I mean like five minutes, but like good enough for me. You can't beat that. Yeah, I mean, I talked to Dakota Fanning, and because I was in a movie with her sister. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of met a lot of great people and was starstruck and kind of in awe of all these artists around me. Really? Who are you starstruck I mean, by? like, I walked, purposely walked by Lana Del Rey. I didn't say anything, but I was like, <laughs> just just staring at her a little bit. I was like, excuse me, you know? And everyone's talking about a picture Kendall took of you, too. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, um, Kendall, uh, Cole has shot Kendall um, for W Mag, I think. And uh, so they know each other, and I got to hang out with her a little bit, which is very nice. After parties? Yeah, one after party. But, you know, I was so hungry at the end of the night, and I was in a very tight corset. So all I wanted to do was just go home and get pajamas on and eat. And so I went to an after party for a very short amount of time and then went home and ate. That's the way to do it. Wait, but isn't there a dinner? No one eats at the dinner? No. Not really. I this mean, is a dinner, right? Yeah, I, I. It's like the timing was weird this year because, uh, you know, Rihanna came and was like, "Come on, let's go watch a performance," and it was Madonna, and everyone left before dinner was even served. So I was hungry, but I got to see Madonna perform. So it's like, how cool was that? That was amazing. So unexpected, but really I hate cool. when Rihanna comes and takes me from dinner I to know, go watch right? Madonna. Right? Yeah, that's so strange. It's horrible. It's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy it. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. One more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell, and never miss a video. I'm loving this. Very, very clean, very sharp. Thank you. Hugo Boss. Nice. Did I plug that well enough? Yes, you did it good. Oh, it's Hugo Boss. <laughs> <laughs> talking about looking good, I got to talk about the Met Gala. I was there. You looked fantastic. Oh, How great so was much. it that evening? It was wonderful. I mean, I, I, I think that was my first time at the Met Gala, so I, I didn't really know what to expect. And I was surprised by the warmth. You know, you go into this large echoing building with people you've never really met. Uh, you sort of expect a little distance and, and people to be a bit cold. I mean, maybe I'm just 
that's sort of the introvert in me speaking, but yeah. everyone was very warm and welcoming, and it was it was great. Who was warm? Who, who came up to you, or who? Andrew Garfield was an absolute gentleman and very talented. Awesome. And apparently a fan of the show. Yeah. Which is great. Um, yeah, I'm not going to drop too many names. You, know but, it's but, the Met Gal you can drop all the names. Everyone's there. I know Snitch. <laughs> So you're not going to tell on the inner workings? No the way. people that made you feel No, warm? that's the glory of it. That's true. So everyone's like, hello. Shh. <laughs> I like you. Did you hit any of the after parties? It's always the after yeah, parties to, that um, really kind of kill her. I think we went to Boom Boom Room. Ooh, it's a good one. It was good. I think by, uh, by that time of night, though, I just wanted pizza. So I escaped for some, some nice... New York pizza after. That's the way to do it. Pretty early in, yeah. And everyone was loving because you came with, you know, your date was looking lovely. Yeah, no, it was nice. Let's talk about the show. Mm. How much fun are you having on it? Oh, it's wonderful. I'm excited. I mean, it's. I think I'm my best self when I'm working, so I'm very excited to get back in July and, and start for season three. And what can you tell us? You kind of left everybody on a cliffhanger. I mean, I think for Jughead, it's it's pretty straightforward. His season two arc had been this kid who was socially averse um, to interaction with anybody. He was averse to his involvement with the serpents. Uh, hey, but I have that shirt, by the way. I really like that shirt. It's a nice one. Sorry to... And then over the season, he was finally initiated. Then he went way too hard into his legacy uh, and got himself in a bit of trouble. And then... The ending of his arc was this kid who had shown the serpents that he could die for the serpents, and now he has this more calm and collected demeanor with his leadership that I'm excited to explore for season three and see how this he's now a more thoughtful, a more emotionally toned down, not, not as hot-headed character. It'll be interesting. And when did you realize that the show was as big as a hit as it is? Uh... It sounds silly enough, but I mean, if, if we can use it as an indicator of social media. We, we had always been a show that had, was designed to really be aired digitally and or viewed digitally, um, from what I understand. And when we started seeing people's interaction with the show on social media sites and how interested they really were with it, and just how much attention the entire cast was receiving with it, I guess in, if it can be used as, as Jughead some dies. Indicator. <laughs> no, yeah. any, any response? Anyhow, uh, where was I? Uh, if we can use it as an indicator, I think that's when people really started to care and started to notice. And yeah, it was, it was great. Awesome. And it seems like all of y'all are friends. Oh, we're all so close. But I, I, I truly think that lends itself to the success of the show. I, I, I think as much as we want to come on stage and, and turn it on, people can read actual chemistry. An audience can always read actual chemistry. Um, and all of us are so close that people have really taken an interest, and I think it affects the work, and I think people are interested in watching true friends interact and act with one another, so it's been great. Is it like a group? Cast text? Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh. Just the worst memes you've ever seen. No. No. Not actually. <laughs> it's very business official. Thanks, brother. Congrats. One more extra. Hit the subscribe button and the bell. Never miss a video.